Hola todos, thanks for watching today. In previous episode, we were learning about bumblebees. Today, we are going to be learning about a different insect. This is giving you a clue about what that insect is. Can you guess what it is? I bet you can. But before we learn about this new insect, I want to return to the poem that we were reading yesterday called The Bumblebee. I'm going to read it first and then I want you to read it with me, okay? So have your listening ears on the first time. And remember, yesterday we talked about rhyming words. So let's see if you can think about those rhyming words while I read it the first time. The Bumblebee. Out in the garden you will see the oh-so-busy bumblebee. It never stops to take a rest. It wears an oh-so-hairy vest. When flowers in the summer open wide, the bee dies oh-so-deep inside. Did you hear some rhyming words? I did too. Yep, there's some rhyming words in there. But today, I want to talk about something different than rhyming words. I want to talk about one of the most important words that I can think of. It's the word the. Can you say the? Good job, the. It has three letters. And it's so important, it's even in the title. There's the word the. What word is it? Right, it's the word the. Sometimes you can say the, but most of the time we say the. It has three letters. Let's count them. One, two, three. The word the always has three letters, and they're always in the same order. T-H-E. Can you help me spell it? T-H-E. That's the word the. What word is it? Right. It's the word the. The is in here four times. Can you believe it's in here four times? Here's the first one. The. Can you spot it through there? Let's see. Hmm, I'm going to use my pointer and let's see if you can find the word the again in this poem. I'm not going to read it out loud. I'm just going to sweep my hand. And does anyone see the word the? Am I passing it? Am I not? Pa I passed it. There it is. That's the word the. T-H-E. Help me spell it. T. H E. All right, let's smack it and say the. Ready? First the, the. Second the, the. There it is, two times. Let's see if we can keep going and see if we can spot it again. We're right in here four times. Let's see. Mm, um, so, mm, yep, yeah, no. Mm. How about this one? It's got three letters. Is it the? Oh, no, it's not. Is that the? No. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Is the word the T H E the? There it is. Spell it with me. T H E. All right, let's slap it. That's the third one. The, the, and the. All right, let's look for the last one. Hmm. Let's see. The, 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 the. No, not in that line. T H E T H E T H E T H E. No, it's definitely not in that line. T H E. No, 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 no. Not a the in that whole line. That was a long line. There was no the. Hmm. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Is that the? It is not. How about here? No, 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 no. Yes, that is the word the. T-H-E. What word is it? It's the. Let's slap it. Here we go. First one, the. Second one, the. Third one, the. Fourth one, the. Oh my goodness, I thought it was in here only four times, and guess what? It's in here again. That makes five. Let's keep going just to make sure I'm not wrong. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. Is this the word the? It is the word the, T-H-E. There it is again. What word is that? The, five times in the same poem. One, two, three, where is it? Four, five times. 
times. That's how important this word is. It's the word the. What word is it? The. T-H-E. There it is again. Let's look. Anything else? Any other thes? The, 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 the. No. No more of those. Okay. Now, I want you to read the poem with me, and I want you to really keep a lookout for the word the. So you're going to have some pictures that give you clues about what the words are, and then you're going to also know the words the. So you're actually going to start reading, which is super big boy and big girl stuff. Okay? So help me read it. Here we go. The fumble bee. Good reading. Here we go. Out in the garden, you will see the oh-so-busy bumblebee. It never stops to take a rest. It wears an oh-so-hairy vest. When flowers in the summer open wide, the bee dies oh-so-deep inside. Friends, you just read a whole poem. You should be super proud. Can you give yourself a big hug? You did it. You did it. Thanks for reading that poem with me. Friends, I can't believe that you just read that whole poem. You must feel so proud. I bet you do. You should. You should feel proud. You're becoming really great readers. Well, I told you we're going to be learning about a new insect today, and this is giving you a clue. And oh my goodness, who's this guy? We have a special guest on this episode. This is my son. His name is Isaac. Hola, amigos. He is so big. He's in middle school. He's 13 years old, and he's going to read you a story about this insect so you can learn a little bit more about it. Okay, Isaac, go ahead. Okay. Esta historia se llama Soy una oruga. Soy una oruga, ñam, ñam, crack, crack. Estoy creciendo, ñam, ñam, crack, crack. Ñam, ñam, crack, crack. Ya está, no más, terminé de comer. Me cuelgo de un tallo. Y espero, espero, y espero. Tiemblo, me retuerzo, se me abra la piel. Se me cae la piel. Por dentro soy blanda, soy una pupa. Haga una capullo que protege la pupa. Ahora soy una pisalina. Sigo cambiando. Pronto saldré. ¿Qué seré? Seré. Una mariposa. Boom, boom. Oh, estoy libre. Mis alas están mojadas. Mis alas ya están secas. Las abro. Flop, flop. ¡Eh! Hey, ¡Puedo volar! ¡Tachan! Visito las flores. Bebo su néctar. ¡Mmm! Mi boca es como una pajilla. Blue, blue, blue. Tengo un amigo. Visitamos las flores. No tenemos miedo a los pájaros. Saben que nos somos sobra, sobrosos. Sabrosos. Pronto pondré huevos. Los 
Los huevos tienen una cáscara muy fina. Los bebés de oruga salen arrastrándolos. Al, arrastrándose. Hola, soy una oruga. Ñam, ñam, crack, crack. ¿Qué me pasaré después? ¿Lo sabes? Aquí está la ciclo de vida de las mariposas. Primero, oruga. Y después convierte en presalida. Después sale a una mariposa. Y después pone sus huevos. Y empieza otra vez. El fin. Gracias, amigos. What a special treat to have Isaac read a story to us. I feel really lucky because he knows how to read in English and in Spanish. I'm so proud of him for being able to do that. So, as you may now know, we are learning about what? What, what, what insect was it? Butterflies. That's right. We're learning about butterflies. And we're also learning about the cycle of an insect. They go through four different stages. So I have another poem that we're going to read here. And I want you to help me match these pictures to the right line of the poem. Okay? So I'm going to read it first. I just want you to listen. But be thinking about the pictures and where they should go in the poem when I read them. Okay? First, I am a tiny egg. Oh, so small. Then I am a caterpillar, see me crawl. Next I am a chrysalis, in my shell I stay. Last I am a butterfly, watch me fly away. Okay, you read it with me, and I want you to think about those pictures, and then we're gonna put them in the right spot. Okay, here we go. First I am a tiny egg, Oh, so small. Then I am a caterpillar. See me crawl. Next I am a chrysalis. In my shell I stay. Last I am a butterfly. Watch me fly away. Okay, I'm going to read the first line. You decide which picture is the right one to put next to it. Okay? First I am a tiny egg. Oh, so small. Hmm. An egg. Is it this one or this one or this one or this one? Point to the one you think it is. I bet you know. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? It is. You're right. You knew it. That's the egg. So that is going to go right next to this line right here. First I am a tiny egg, oh so small. Now let's do the next one. Then I am a caterpillar. See me crawl. Caterpillar. Is that a caterpillar? No. Is this a caterpillar? No. Is this a caterpillar? You're right. So we're going to put that one next to this line right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, first I am a tiny egg, oh so small. Then I am a caterpillar, see me crawl. Next I am a chrysalis, in my shell I stay. Which one's a chrysalis? Is this a chrysalis or is this a chrysalis? This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. Point. Which one do you think is the chrysalis? In my shell I stay. You're right! That is the chrysalis! In my shell I stay. Last I am a butterfly. Watch me fly away. Well, this one's pretty easy. There's only one choice. Yeah. This is the butterfly up here, so we'll add it down here. Now you know the four different stages that an insect goes through. The first one is the egg. The second is the caterpillar, or the larva is the fancy word if we're not talking about butterflies. The third stage is the chrysalis, or the pupa. And the fourth stage is the butterfly. And if you haven't noticed, on my 
while over here, I have it in Spanish too. So now you know the four stages of an insect. Well done. Now that we know the four stages of an insect, it's time to talk about the project for the day, okay? So here is a project. Can you see what we're doing? That's the project that we're gonna be doing today. And it is showing you the four different stages of the life cycle of an insect. So what you need for this is some green paper and a white sheet of paper. You need some paint. You need a marker or writing utensil of some kind, something to write with. And I like using little sheets of paper to add to my project. You can write it right on there, but it's kind of tricky work when the paint's wet. So I like using these little strips of paper too. And then you probably will want some sort of rag or a hand. You're gonna to have to wash your hand at some point because we're gonna be using our hand to make the butterfly. So um, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take this piece of paper and you're just gonna cut a long strip. This is good scissor practice. Remember when you're putting your hands in your scissors, you have four fingers that go in the one, in the big hole, and then the thumb goes in the little one, okay? And you're gonna cut right along the side of your paper. Just in a straight line. It's a little bit too long, so you can cut some off. I cut about that much off, it's good. And the second part that you need to do is you need to cut out two leaves. You can have your family draw a leaf on your paper for you if that's easier for you, or if you're fancy schmancy, maybe you can cut out a leaf yourself. It has to be kind of big because of we're putting the chrysalis on it, so, and the egg. So yeah, I'm gonna cut out my leaves, see how I'm cutting? I'm following the line, super duper careful. I did it. Now I'm gonna turn my paper this way, it'll be a little easier if I hold it on this side and I'm gonna cut on these lines. Yes, I did it. Okay, so I have my two leaves and my stem. So you'll glue that on. Can you see that here to glue that on? Okay, so you're gonna use your glue stick. You can use glue, you can use a glue stick. I think I have one of those in here, yeah I do. Here's a glue stick, and you're gonna glue that on. Okay, then for the egg, you're gonna put it on your leaf, a little egg. You can do the egg any way you want. What I did is I went and got a cotton ball because I have cotton balls in my house. You can even use a Q-tip and like pull the cotton off the end of the Q-tip if you want or you can just use some paint and make an egg. It really doesn't matter. So I put in a little, a little uh, cotton ball piece on there for an egg. And then the next stage after the egg, do you remember what comes next? First comes the egg, oh so small. Next comes a caterpillar, see me crawl. We have to make a caterpillar. This is pretty easy. All you do for the caterpillar is you take your finger right here and you paint it. Oh my goodness, I'm painting my finger. I know some kids who really like doing this and I know some kids who don't love it the way it feels. I actually like the way that it feels. So here it is right here. It's garbage day. The garbage is coming right past our house right now. Can you hear it? And then you're going to press it right on your paper right here and it makes a caterpillar. Okay. You make a caterpillar just like that. It's handy to have that sheet of paper, I mean that um, towel, so that you can wipe your hand. So I'm gonna leave that right here, a handy dandy. So that's your caterpillar. The next thing you'll do is you'll make the third stage after the caterpillar comes, do you remember what happens? First I am a caterpillar, oh so small. Then I'm sorry, then I am a caterpillar, oh so small. Next, I am a chrysalis in my shell. I stay. Chrysalis, this time you're gonna use your thumb. Can you find your thumb? It's not the little one, it's the big one. And you're gonna paint your thumb. This is kind of fatter than your pointer finger. Chrysalis, it looks like the shape of a chrysalis. And you're gonna put that chrysalis right on your second leaf. Okay, uh-oh, it's dirty, what do you do? You get your towel. And you wipe your thumb off. Okay, after you do the chrysalis, so egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, what comes last? Butterfly, this one's the fun part. 
So you can do it two different ways. If you have a paper plate, you can just put paint on a paper plate and dip your hand right in there. Go for it. Or since I don't have a paper plate, I'm just going to um, use a brush and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to paint my hand. So you just take paint and you paint your hand. Make sure you get it super painty, all the different parts. I didn't get my thumb. See, it's missing. Gotta get my thumb. Awesome. Okay, if you want to have a multicolored butterfly, so that means more than one color, you can add some swatches of some other color if you want. Mm -hmm. Here you have some black. Some black here, some black here. Back here, see that? I'm just adding some swatches. Maybe over here, maybe over here. Okay, ready? And for this part, I have a really big hand because I'm an adult. Your hand will fit perfectly on your projects. So you do one hand like this. And you push down. Before you take it off right away, you've got to kind of smash your fingers down. Smash it, smash it, smash it. And then when you take it off, you'll have half of your butterfly done. Okay? Take your handy dandy towel. You can wipe off your hand. You know, you're not recording a video right now, so you can actually go get up and go wash your hand. I highly recommend it. And then you can come back and then do your other hand instead okay so now then you got to do your other hand so if you did this hand first then you have to do your other hand to do the other one okay so you can see that when i did this one i did this hand first see how it matches see how that matches and then i did this hand second see how that one matches but my hand was so big it was kind of hanging off the paper yours won't because you're just the right size Okay, and then when you get done doing that, the last thing you'll want to do is make your flower. There's a billion different ways to make flowers. You can use a Q-tip and make little dots. That's what I did. But maybe you want to make lines and make yours look like a dandelion. Or maybe you want to make petals and make yours more look like a tulip. It's totally up to you. And the last piece of the project is when you get all done, and it's a little bit wet when it's all done, then you're gonna do your writing, right? So you wanna think about those four stages. Now, if you're a pollito or if you're super tiny and you're not really writing letters yet, it's totally fine. Your family can help you write egg, caterpillar, chrysalis, and butterfly or adult, okay? So they might just write out egg and you can say, hey, what does this say? And they'll say, oh, it says egg. And I have to be like, okay, there's egg, there's egg. Oh, there's egg and you will Put it right where the egg is or right you'll glue it down okay and then you're going to do the same thing for larva or caterpillar chrysalis and butterfly see what i did here okay and if you are writing and you want to be a little bit fancy you can ask your family to instead of writing the whole word write all of the word except just the first letter make the first letter is missing and you get to write the first letter in so egg you would add the e here okay and for caterpillar caterpillar you would add a c right so you can do it that way and then if you're super duper duper fancy and you're like you're in kindergarten or in first grade or you're getting ready for kindergarten and you know how to write a lot of letters you can just take a plain piece of paper and write the whole word all by yourself. That is a possibility. And if you can't remember how it's spelled, because I certainly wouldn't remember if I were you, your family can give you the word and you can put it right next to it. And then that way you'll be able to write it all by yourself by using this as an example. Okay? It just depends on what you want to do and what you feel ready for. Whatever you choose is fine. Thanks for watching today. I hope that you take pictures 
of the project that you make and I hope that you send me those pictures or post those pictures so that I can see it. I would love that. Don't forget we have our Zoom meeting coming up on Thursday and Friday and I can't wait to see you there. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.